an asynchronous Kalman filter for hybrid event cameras. Conventional frame-based video cameras see the world as a series of image frames captured at fixed frame rate, for example 30Hz. In contrast, event cameras react to brightness changes, firing an asynchronous pixel-level event as soon as a change is detected. Events contain the pixel address, microsecond timestamp, and polarity, indicating increase or decrease in brightness. Conventional cameras are relatively low dynamic range, low frequency frame rate, easily motion blurred in the presence of fast motion, but ideal for capturing slow or static scenes. Event cameras are high dynamic range, high frequency, not easily motion blurred, and ideal for capturing fast motions, though poor at capturing very slow and static scenes. Hybrid event frame cameras provide parallel streams of both events and image frames. We propose to combine frames and events from a hybrid camera to recover high dynamic range, high temporal resolution, sharp video footage. Our method consists of three components, a pre-processing step called frame augmentation, asynchronous computation of the Kalman gain based on a proposed noise model for frames and events, and an asynchronous Kalman filter that combines event and frame information. In frame augmentation, we deblur two consecutive image frames using an existing event-based method called the event double integral model. Next, we calibrate the event signal by vertically stretching it to match the start and end intensity levels. Finally, we interpolate along the temporal dimension, improving the temporal resolution of the image frames. We use zero mean Gaussian noise models for events and frames with covariances Q and R. The covariance of the event noise model, Q, is based on three factors. A process noise applied equally to all pixels based on the principles of Brownian motion, isolated pixel noise based on the assumption that spatiotemporally isolated events are more likely to be noise, and refractory period noise that compensates for events missed due to a refractory dead zone immediately following an event firing. The covariance of the frame noise model, R, is based on the camera response function and increases uncertainty associated with extremes of dynamic range in the image frame, that is, very low and very high intensity values. The internal filter state, including the Kalman gain and the output image state, are updated asynchronously with every event. The final output is a high dynamic range video that can be sampled at virtually any frame rate. In this paper, we present a novel hybrid event frame dataset captured on a custom-built rig with an RGB frame-based camera next to an event camera. VGA resolution is available, and we provide high dynamic range ground truth reference video alongside image frames and events. In our artificial HDR sequences, we synthesize low dynamic range images to use as input to test our method and use the original image as ground truth. In our full HDR dataset, we use raw images as input and generate HDR reference by fusing three low dynamic range images at different exposure levels into one HDR ground truth reference image.